I'm Mark Gershaw, I'm a professor here at NYU. I'm here with Mike Salvati, who runs our labs. Um, I notice that as I'm around the lab, you and your staff are always dropping things. Yes, we do. You have a lot of practice dropping things. You must be pretty good dropping things, right? Yes, it's a very expensive habit. Yes. So should we have like a little, let's see who can drop better. Ready? One, two, three, go. Oh, that was, I think, I, I think you did. Okay, one, two, three, go. All right. I think the, the problem with this race is that it's not a well-defined start and finish line, right? No, no. Okay. So one more lesson. One, two, three, go. So I think what we should do, just so you know, show, is let's use these tubes here as, as a racetrack. And, and we got a video camera on the bottom, right? So we can split section. On three or at three? I'll tell you, I'm gonna give you an advantage. You say go. Okay. Anytime. Go. Yeah, Mike, that's so good at dropping things. No, no. So what's going on? Um, well, so it's right. It's not sticking to the tube, um, but not. mine's not. Is yours right? No. Because no. um, this is copper, yeah. and this one happens to be a magnet. Yes. Yeah, um, right. You can see, you can see how it sticks there, right? There you go. Yeah. There you go. Right. And this one's not right. Uh, magnets don't stick to uh, copper, but when you have a magnet that's moving near a piece of metal, it generates uh, an electric field in that metal. And metals are conductors, so when there's an electric field in the metal, current flows. Um, and the energy for that current has to come from somewhere. And if I'm doing this, you know, I'm, I'm, the energy is coming from my arm and waving it up, right? But when we drop it in, uh, the only place for the uh, energy to heat the tube up come, to come from is from the motion of the magnet. Uh, and so the kinetic energy of the magnet decreases and it falls very slowly. Um, and you can show that um, the force, the, the back force of the magnet has to be proportional uh, to the velocity of the magnet. So it, 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 it basically falling like this for some big vat of um, maple syrup or something like a lot of drag, uh, slowing it down. And these are called uh, eddy currents because the uh, magnet, the, the currents actually flow kind of in circles around the moving magnet. Um, and that's why they're called eddies. Um, and the, the bigger the magnet, the stronger the effect. The higher conductivity of the metal, the stronger the effect. The closer the magnet is to the metal, the stronger the effect. Um, so this is a high conductivity metal, strong magnet, uh, pretty impressive um, effect. Make sure you just do like a little, like, make sure you do like an outro, like, 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 thanks for watching. Yeah, that would be Mark. Okay. So Mark would say something funny or clever right yeah. now at this point. So yes. Right, just like something to tie, like, like, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh -huh. Please come to NYU. Okay. Yeah. Oh, maybe not that. Yeah. Like, like, this, like, this was like my physics department. Hope yeah. you enjoyed. Oh. Like that. Yeah. Okay. Whenever you're ready. All right. So I'm going to do the outro. Yeah. Any amount of time it takes to fall. So uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, this has been the NYU physics department. Wow, there's a lot of time for this. Yes, it does. Yeah. <laughs>